All right, let's tackle the uh, example questions for interior angles of convex polygons. Um, what we're looking at here, for example, A is the interior angles of a polygon add up to 180 degrees, and the question is how many sides does it have? Now remember that your formula for finding the interior angles is n minus 2 times 180. That gives us the total number of degrees of the interior angles of a regular polygon. So if we take that formula and we just use 1980 as the answer, or the output, then we can see that, that what we're looking for is n in this case. n is the thing we don't know. And we're trying to figure out what n would be in order for n minus 2 times 180 to equal 1980 degrees. So we just first distribute the 180 here. We get 180n, take them this times n, and then this times negative 2, 180n minus 360 equals 1980. And then we add 360 to each side. And that, of course, will cancel over here. We'll have 180n equals, what is that, 2340? 2340. And then we divide both sides by 180, which will cancel over there. Divide by 180. And we'll get just n. n equals 2340 divided by 180, which is uh, 13. 13. So that tells us that if we have a regular polygon with 1980 total degrees, then the number of sides that it has to have is 13. So it has 13 sides. All right, let's take a look at example B. Example B says, how many uh, degrees does each angle in an equiangular nonagon have? Now, equiangular is sort of a big fancy way of saying it's a regular polygon. In other words, that all the angles are the same. Equi meaning the same, and angle, angular, of course, referring to angles, so equal angular. Um, if we have, if we're looking for a nonagon, which is nine sides, then what we know is that nine sides minus two times 180 is going to equal our total number of degrees, right? Because to figure out the total number of degrees, we just take the uh, number of sides minus 2 times 180. So first we'll figure that out. We get 9 minus 2 is 7, and 7 times 180 is, what, 1260? Yeah, 1260. So this is the total number of degrees in the shape. Then if we know we have nine sides, we take 1260, that total number of degrees, divide it by nine, and we get 140. So 140 for each angle in the shape. Yeah, all right, so let's take a look at example C. Example C says, each interior angle in a regular polygon is 135 degrees. How many sides does this polygon have? So we know that every angle is 135. And what we want to know is how many sides there are, right? So what we need to do is use both of our formulas together. We know that if we were to take the number of sides minus 2 and multiply it by 180, we'd get the total number of degrees, right? And then if we were to take that value and divide it again by the number of sides, then we'd get the number of degrees in each angle. Well, we know the number of degrees in each angle. It's 135. So now we can use that information to actually solve for the number of sides. So we're going to solve for n. So now we just need to multiply both sides by n. And the n will cancel over here. And we'll get 135 times n up here. So we have n minus 2 times 180 equals 135n. Then we distribute 180. We get 180n minus 360 equals 135n. Now we have more n's on this side over here. Let me change colors so it's a little hard to read. We have more n's on the left side over here. So let's collect the n's over on this side. 
So we'll subtract 135 in from over here and from over here. And our ends will cancel on this side. 180 minus 135 is what, 45? So we'll have 45 n minus 360 equals zero. Sort of moving up here. Add the 360 to both sides. That cancels, and we have 45 n equals 360. And then we just divide both sides by 45. Cancels, divide by 45, and n then equals 8. So that tells us that the number of sides in our polygon is 8 sides if it has 135 degrees in each angle, and all the angles are the same. There we go.